did everything. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about two soft skills that I think are worth putting on your resume uh, that not only apply to tech, but I do think they have a special place and I'll explain why, but also are great in general uh, for almost any any position because I mean that's kind of what the point of soft skills right is they're good for a lot of different things before we do that I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor tetratutorials.com they've sponsored this video it's really cool that they do that now what I like about them is that they actually have a lot of good video guides here for a relative price you know $39 $49 and they cover a lot of topics pretty well that you don't see a lot of attention to and they're really those hard skills that you need like Jenkins Joomla um, how to ar architect Android apps. So a bunch of cool stuff. If you're interested in that, um, check them out in the description below or the cards or annotation at the end. But let's talk about the soft skills that I think are important to your resume. Now, when I was interviewing a, our senior developer in this coming weeks behind the code, she has answered a question that I oftentimes get answer, asked, what is the number one thing that you look for when hiring a junior developer? And her thing was communication. Communication is so crucial as a developer that you may think, oh man, all I need to know is JavaScript, HTML, CSS, but putting a soft skill like communication on there and really when you get asked the question like why is communication a strong suit of yours, you do need to have an answer, right? And I think through communicating, you can uh, <laughs> communicate and you can explain how good of a communicator you are, right? Um, at the end of the day, when they're, they're looking to hire somebody as a junior developer, as a developer in general, they want someone they can work with. And part of working with somebody is communicating. And that goes to the, um, to the second soft skill, is being a team player, working with a team. However you want to phrase it, just communicate that you're a team player and that you can work well with others. Those are the two, communicating, and or communication rather, and working with a team. Now, as a developer, you are always working with a team. You may be working on one aspect of this project, they'll be working on another, you may be doing QA, they may be doing the front end, this guy's doing the back end, and they all kind of overlap little pieces here or there. And that's why you need the communication. You need the communication to explain what you did, what you need help with, uh, how, how to respond back when you get that help, or or you don't fully understand something and you need to be able to work in a team if you don't work well with others you're not going to be a good fit for almost any software company unless you start your own so uh those are the two soft skills that you really need on your resume in terms of what other soft skills you could put on there i don't really think you should take up any more of your resume space if you will with any other soft skills but if you disagree, let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, uh, don't forget to check out our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. The link is in the description below. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, as always, this is Ask a Dev, episode 10 or 11 or something like that. And you can uh, go ahead and put it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to address it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding boot camp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.